Hey, <laughs> good afternoon. So this week's Torah portion is the Torah portion of Akev. Beautiful portion, has a lot of significant things in it. The second portion of the Shema, which tells us about um, the mitzvah of mezuzah again. And of course, it's a lot of Moses speaking to the Jewish people on the cusp of entering the land of Israel before he passes away. I wanted to give you a short, a short thought on that. But before that, I want to tell you a story about this kid who's sitting at home with his mom, and it's pitch dark outside, and his mom tells him, hey, why don't you go get me the broom outside? Back door, there's a broom on the porch. Could you go get it for me? And the kid says, mommy, I'm scared. It's pitch dark outside. I don't want to go there. So his mom says, don't worry. God's everywhere. God's always with you. He'll watch over you. And the kid says, mommy, are you sure that God's out there? And she says, absolutely, God's everywhere. Not only is he out there, but he's always willing to lend a hand and help you. So the kid goes gingerly to the back door, and he peers out from it, and he opens it up a crack. And he calls out, he says, God, if you're out there, could you please pass the broom? So you know, children, they take us at face value, right? So Moses says in this week's Torah portion, Shema Yisrael, listen, O Jews. Atem. You will cross over the Jordan now to conquer the land. To conquer great nations. They're even stronger than you. They have huge cities. And they're fortified up all the way till heaven. I'm God of love. They're a great nation, the nation of giants, the children of giants. And you heard of them. And you know no one could stand up for them. But he says, you should know today that God goes in front of you. He's a consuming fire. He will annihilate them in front of you. And the question is really like this. If you look a little bit at the history and you remember what happened 40 years earlier, the Jews wanted to go into the land of Israel and they send the spies. And the spies came back and they said almost verbatim to what Moses says. They said it's a great, great fortified nations with giants. They're much stronger than us. What's going on here? Didn't Moses learn from the mistakes that 40 years earlier, the spies came back and persuaded the people with these scare tactics, yet Moses uses the same words. And not only does he use the same words, he goes even stronger. For example, the spies said they, they have fortified cities. He says they have fortified cities till the heavens. And he tells them that, 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 that they're mightier than us. Exactly what the spies said. Why would Moses do that? The Jews are on the cusp. They're on the eastern side of the Jordan River, right opposite Jericho, ready to go in. What's Moses thinking here? Why would he want to scare them? And what's even more interesting is, if you remember a few portions ago, when the children of... The, God and Reuven and half of Manasseh came to Moses and they said, we want to stay on this side of the Jordan and build because we like the fertilization and the grass area for our cattle. Moses screamed at them. He says, don't you remember what happened 40 years ago with the spies? Why do you want to make the same mistake? Yet Moses himself uses verbatim almost the words that the spies used and is worried about scaring the Jewish people. What happened here? It's been a fascinating talk in Chabad headquarters. 49 years ago, 1971, Shabbos Parshas Ekev, this week's Torah portion, that the Lubavitch Rebbe gave a very inspiring answer. And the Rebbe said like this, the Rebbe said that Judaism is all about the truth. It's about the truth and telling the truth and nothing but the truth. Moses could have lied to the Jewish people and he could have sold them all these nice stories that the land has no power for people and they're not scary and don't worry, we'll wipe them out, we're much stronger than them. But that wouldn't be the truth. Torah is all about truth. So Moses said the exact same thing the spy said, which was the truth, that it was a mighty nation, no one could conquer them. Just Moses has one different conclusion. He says ultimately just remember that it's God who goes before you and he's a consuming fire, he will take care of everything. What the Rebbe says, is the key difference here and something we have to understand and something Moses is trying to nurture the Jewish people with is that in Judaism it's not about fudging the truth 
It's not about selling the Brooklyn Bridge to someone and telling them they can do whatever they want. It's about saying the hard truth, yet knowing that God is with you and will always help you. Think about this, okay? Moses only uses the word Shema four times in the Bible. It's a powerful word. Shema Yisrael. It's only four times in the entire Bible. What's the time? We read about it just before this time, his last portion. What does he say? Shema Yisrael, Hashem Aleikeinu, Hashem Echad. Hero Israel, God is one. And what's the next Shema he says? He says, Shema Yisrael, listen, you're going over the Jordan. It's going to be a hard fight there. It's going to be dangerous. It's going to be treacherous. But you should know that God is almighty and he goes with you. These two Shema's, the Shema Yisrael, Hashem Aleikeinu, Hashem Echad, and Shema Yisrael confronting the reality of how difficult life might be, is the juxtaposition? It's, it's, it's those two shmas that represent life in the Torah. God says, "Listen, don't convince yourself the world is easy and life is easy. Life is hard and it's full of challenges. It's full of obstacles. But know wherever you go that God is with you. That you have the strength. You have the power to do it. Imagine you going on a on a on a, on a hike, rock climbing up this huge mountain, and the guy tells you, "Hey, it's nothing. You're gonna do it. It's a." piece of cake, it's a walker, you know, don't worry. And you get up there and suddenly you see how, 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 how high it is and how much it is on an angle and you're terrified, you'll give up immediately. But how about if he told you, listen, I'm doing this for 30 years. It's hard, it's arduous, it's not going to be easy. It's going to take a lot of effort, but I know you can do it. You have the strength. So he builds you up to recognize that although the challenge is hard, you have the power to do it. And that's what Moses in the Torah tells you. Never does the Torah tell you that you can't accomplish it. That's the difference between Moses and the spies. Moses is Shema Yisrael. Listen, Jews, the task is formidable. It's hard. It's not going to be easy, but you have the power. You know, the Rebbe once asked a guy years ago to go do something. He was going to a different country. And the Rebbe asked him to, to do a mission for him. And the guy came back and he got a private audience with the Rebbe. The Rebbe wanted to thank him. And the Rebbe asked him about the trip. And he says, I did so and so for you. And he tells the Rebbe what he did. But he said, by the way, Rebbe, just that so you know, it wasn't easy. It was hard. He was like trying to insinuate to the Rebbe, you didn't give me an easy job. And the Rebbe looked at him and he says, since when did you make a contract with God that it's going to be easy? Who said it's supposed to be easy? It's about knowing the truth. It's about knowing how hard it might be but knowing that you have the strength, inner strength within you to accomplish it. The rabbi said the same thing is in our day-to-day -day life. We each have our Jordan to, River to cross. We each have our land to conquer. It might be an addiction. It might be a fear. It might be a problem in our marriage. And sometimes you come to your therapist and they say, oh, it's nothing. You don't have to worry. It's all in your mind. It's not really there. Sometimes that might work, but sometimes that's not true. And when you tell yourself that it's nothing and the obstacles are not hard and then you come across them, you give up. It's about saying the truth. It's about knowing that even if it's hard, God is always with you. Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad, and He will watch you. Think about all the greatest leaders in the history of the world. They listened and took the words of Moses to heart. Think about Winston Churchill when, 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 when Chamberlain resigned and he became the Prime Minister of, 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 of Great Britain. And Nazis had already captured almost all of Europe. Russia was still neutral. America didn't want to get involved. And here you have Winston Churchill in this first speech to the House of Lords. What did he say? If you remember the words he said, he said, he said, all I have to give you is toil, sweat, blood, and tears. He didn't make them fool themselves and not know what's going to happen. And the same thing Menachem Begin in his famous talk when the Jewish people were fighting the independence war and the Nazis, excuse me, and, and all the Arabs were, were, were surrounding them and it was going to be a brutal war. He said it's going to be hard but we're going to fight because we remember the martyrs, the six million and all our ancestors and we know that God will be with us and we'll win it. They all learned from Moses. You know, Scott Beck in his book, The, the Road Less Traveled, he starts off with these words, life is difficult. And he explains that it's one of the it's the greatest one of the greatest truths. Because only when you know that truth could you conquer the challenges. And that's what Moshe says at the beginning of this portion. Shema Yisrael, listen, Jews. You're going into the 
promised land. You're going to get it. God is going to take it for you. But don't think it's going to be easy. We say, and we said last week in the Torah portion, when you, when you cleave to God, then you have life, you have truth. The Torah explains that all things that are not true, they don't endure. They could be here today, they're gone tomorrow. Nothing material, nothing physical stays forever. The only truth there is, is Torah, which is eternal, is God, which is eternal. And that's what Moshe is telling them, the truth. And the truth might be hard sometimes, but if you connect to the Torah and you connect to God in your own personal life, when you have a struggle and you know it's going to be hard to climb the mountain, you have faith and you trust in God and you overcome it and you win over. God bless you. Have a great day. Go tackle your challenges. Go climb that mountain. You will succeed because you have it within you. That power is a gift that God gave you to do it. Shalom.